There is no intro for this video because I was leaving for a trip the day I'm editing and I am so so sorry but it is good that we can just jump right into this video and this is going to be a spring slash Easter DIY room decor and treats video and follow me on all my social media to stay up to date with me and subscribe for more videos like this one and let's just hop right into this video. So the first food DIY that we are going to be making is these edible Easter eggs and here are all the ingredients that you are going to need. The first thing you're going to need are some fruity pebbles, one teaspoon of butter, mini marshmallows, a measuring cup, a spatula, some plastic Easter eggs, and a bowl. So let's get started with what you do. So just go ahead and cut a teaspoon of the butter and put it into a large bowl and go ahead and microwave that for about 30 seconds until the butter is fully melted. Then go ahead and take your mini marshmallows and go ahead and pour them into the bowl. Add two cups of Fruity Pebbles and pour that into the bowl as well. Then you're going to want to go ahead and microwave that. While that's being microwaved, go ahead and take some Pam cooking spray or nonstick spray and spray it into the plastic egg so when you put the mixture in, it does not stick. So go ahead and just mix up the fruity pebbles and marshmallows and butter until it is all one large gooey like rice crispy treat looking type of thing. And just go ahead and keep mixing that. And then when that's done mixing, you can go ahead and just form it in the shapes of the eggs. And that is as simple as it is and you are done. So the next treat idea are these cute Easter egg nests and let's get started with the ingredients. So the first thing that you're going to need are some type of egg shaped chocolate candies. You can use M&Ms or some type of mini eggs. Then this is optional but I got this at Target and this is actually edible grass just to make it more decorative. Then you need chow mein noodles some butter, some mini marshmallows, a spatula or a spoon, and a microwavable bowl and a measuring cup. So go ahead and melt your butter into the bowl for about 30 seconds or something like that. Mine didn't really melt that well, so I just stirred it. Then you're going to take your three cups of mini marshmallows and pour that in the bowl and four cups of your yame noodles or chow mein, however you say it, and pour it into the bowl. And go ahead and microwave that until it is all mixed together. Then go ahead and take one teaspoon of vanilla extract and pour that into the bowl. And go ahead and microwave that. And while it is microwaving, go ahead and take a cupcake tin and spray it with some Pam cooking spray so it does not stick to the bowl. And once your little mixture is out of the microwave go ahead and mix it all together mine was really hot so just be careful then go ahead and just form it into the cupcake tin like really tightly packed in so I just went ahead and for mine there's the before and the after I actually put mine in the freezer so it would kind of harden more and after you take it out of the freezer you just want to go ahead and put in your edible grass if you would like to put in edible grass. As I said, it is optional. And then you could just go ahead and put your little chocolate eggs into the nests and you are all done. So this is actually a room decor project. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY tree. So 
this was my old tree. It was all Valentine's Day themed. So I'm just taking the Valentine's Day tinsel and garland off and the little Valentine's Day heart tree topper. So I'm taking everything Valentine's Day off. So it is just the plain white tree. And here is what we're going to turn it into. So I just went around and put my Easter egg garland on the tree and I hung some Easter egg ornaments to make it look all festive. And that is it for this cute room decor tree for Easter and I hope you guys make this tree because it is super cute. So if you guys need help on what to pack this spring break if you're going on a trip, I've got you covered of some of the spring break essentials. So first a book. I love to bring books like the Q&A book or beauty books. So that's what I'm bringing. Also these I'm literally obsessed with. So your toothpaste doesn't explode in your bag. Get these toothy tabs at Lush. They are so, so good they're little tabs and it's basically just like toothpaste the next thing are a good pair of headphones i love my friends headphones and i'm bringing those also some iphone lenses like fisheye lenses to take really cool pictures next a polaroid or some type of camera to take some arts of pictures for your polaroid wall if you have one Next, a charging case. I don't know how much I could tell you how much these have helped me to keep my phone alive and not die. I literally recommend one so much. Next is a privacy screen protector, and these can help so people don't see what you're doing on your phone, but you can see. Next is a lens case, and this just changes the lenses on your camera. And next, a Fitbit, so if you are eating some junk on vacation you can still help stay motivated and fit if you're going somewhere cold a scarf if you're going somewhere hot a towel and a hat i recommend one for cold and hot weather to see because it's very sunny and next if you want a lot of eyes to be staring at you get some led shoes because they are super cool can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all.